This is a, uh, an opening lecture. It's the first lecture of the so-called Wiener Gödel lecture series, which is uh, a new uh, series of lectures introduced in the Faculty of Informatics. We have decided to invite once a year a key player on the international stage of computer science to share his or her profound insights with us. The purpose of this series is to show the crucial role that um, computer science plays in shaping and forming today's information and knowledge society and in solving its complex problems. Knuth is considered as the father of algorithm analysis. He made groundbreaking work already almost five decades ago uh, on string parsing, which lays the found foundations for today's modern uh, compilers. Um, Knuth is the rare theoretician who writes uh, many lines of code every day. So uh, Knuth combines in a unique way theory and practice. Knuth published a large number of important books most notably uh, the multi-volume work, The Art of Computer Programming. And uh, as it was already mentioned, Knuth uh, is the creator of the uh, computer typesetting system Tech, which is used throughout the uh, mathematics and computer science community. And actually, it shapes uh, the culture and our daily work. And a very special feature of all of his work is that it celebrates the beauty and elegance of mathematics and algorithms. Knuth will give one of his famous uh, all questions answered uh, sessions. So please join me welcoming, welcoming Donald Knuth. Okay, certainly I'm, I'm greatly honored to be here and asked to, to, uh, to start this lecture series and, uh, and uh, also I'm uh, quite happy to see my friend Heinz Zemenich in the front row. This is my first trip to Vienna, and uh, I'm mesmerized by, by Vienna. Um, a, a talented young person is planning to enter university, but he or she is not yet sure what to study. And that person takes studying computer science into consideration. Now, the person asks you, therefore, why should I study computer science, and what are the, let's say, three most important things or results I can learn in doing so. What would you answer? Okay, so, so, so in the first place, uh, uh, computer science uh, is different from a lot of other fields uh, and similar to other, other fields in that it's really based on, on a, a, a person's uh, uh, way of thinking uh, rather than on a person's desires and what problems to solve. Uh, uh, there's a certain uh, uh, the, I, I, I think uh, uh, I learned when I was in, when I was an undergraduate. Uh, there was no such thing as a computer science major, but but uh, so anyway, during my freshman year of college, uh, uh, I saw a computer behind a, uh, a glass window, and somebody explained it to me, and 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 that clicked with me. I call that uh, being a geek. Uh, okay, I mean I. Uh, it, the word geek uh, and nerd and things uh, are not uh, 
uh, uh, well defined in dictionaries uh, yet, but but uh, but but geek is 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 becoming more chic uh, in late years, and so and so I have to admit that when. Uh, when a man in Britain uh, three years ago called me Geek of the Week, I, I, I was proud. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, but any, anyway, uh, it's, up, it, it's something that, that you have then, uh, by the time you're, you're 17 or 20 or something, uh, or, or you don't, it's not something that you, that if you just work harder, you'll be more of a geek. I, uh, in, in, in my sense of, of, of uh, having a, a special talent for, uh, for resonating with computers, and so I, I look at myself as being someone who uh, who writes books for geeks. Professor Nuth, um, you are known for uh, opposing uh, software patents or um, intellectual property for algorithms as such. Uh, can you give us a brief outline of your arguments, and does your position imply that uh, open source projects should be prevalent? I believe that if uh, if software patents were were prevalent at the, in 1980 when I worked on tech, I never would have been able to do the project because because there wouldn't have been any way to get permissions for, 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 from all the kind of algorithms that that go into things. So I I I, I think uh, having having too much too, too many things patented uh, holds back uh, all kinds of. Uh, uh, all, all kinds of innovation, actually, and I believe uh, uh, that open source software is is uh, uh, has has all kinds of great advantages, um, and uh, uh, the the only problem that I have is is that uh, still when I get a new computer, uh, <coughs> uh, it doesn't work with the dra with the current graphics cards and <laughs> and. Uh, and um, so I have to, I have to always buy a computer that's that's two years old. That's that, that's fine. I put tech in the public domain, uh, and but but I but I don't issue it with the with the uh, new public license. Uh, uh, I, I I have a slight uh, twist on that uh, because the the. Uh, the general license that comes with most open source software says anybody can freely modify this, and um, I don't want anybody to take tech and, and and modify it unless they change the name and call it something else. So so, so, so anybody can, can can take the code for tech and look at it and say, ah, oh, but it would be better if he had had had, had tweaked this one little thing, um, and. Uh, uh, and I don't forbid that. I just say, don't you dare call this tech. Then, <laughs> then you make up another name for it. Because I want, I, I, I want, to, I want to have a fixed point on which people can build, so that they can trust that that they do something. Now, uh, they don't have to worry when it's up, when the, when somebody upgrades tech. It never gets upgraded. It it it, it stays it stays fixed. And I take personal responsibility uh, for. for uh, the, the way tech works is, uh, 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 um, on the day I die, it's, tech is frozen forever, uh, <laughs> and every bug it has is, is, is a feature. What are we really doing? Is it computer science, or rather computer art, uh, or partially translated to Greek, uh, computer tech? The subject of my Turing lecture uh, was, was this very question, what's the difference between science and art? And uh, and also then uh, uh, well there are other uh, other words that we can put in so so the I, I I looked into the thing in different languages so similarly in German Kunst uh, uh, has has different meanings historically and uh, uh, but uh, uh, it's it tends to to distinguish things that are in nature from things that are created by people. So, so the uh, uh, something more artful, the least, the, the less it was pre produced by an by by an auto, by an algorithm, or or, 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 or by a natural process. Uh, so, so, so the the, th the things that w when when we use thinking, uh, we go beyond science. But science is the things that it, it, it is uh, knowledge that 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 we understand enough to formulate. 
And uh, I, to make it more precise, I say science is something we understand well enough to, to, to program, well, well enough to, expl to, uh, to explain to a computer. And art is everything else, that, uh, the things that we add uh, uh, to, to knowledge, but we don't know uh, exactly why it's true or, 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 or what makes it happen. And, and uh, so uh, as, as science advances, uh, uh, you might say, well, it catches up to art. Professor Knuth, is there a result or accomplishment in computer science that someone else made, but you really wish you had made? And if yes, <laughs> why do you really wish you had made it? Hmm. The answer to that has to be yes. So, uh, 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 but, uh, no, I mean, it, it, okay, when I started writing The Art of Computer Programming, in fact, I had, I had zero results of my own. But, but my motivation was that I saw the people who had, had uh, uh, they, they published their results, but, uh, uh, but, but other people were unaware of it. So, so there, were no, there were no books about this. On the other hand, if I, if I found two papers on, on, on similar subjects, there would be paper, uh, paper by per person A and paper by person B. Um, I found that these people uh, were so proud of their own method that they didn't see what, uh, the advantage of the other person's insight. So, so, so I can't, couldn't imagine person A writing a writing a book that would fairly describe both method A and method B and, and simulate for the other person. So I figured, okay, uh, I, I like to write. Uh, I, I worked on, uh, uh, you know, as a, on student paper and things like that when I was in college. Uh, so, I, uh, so I said, okay, I'll write a book that, that is unbiased. I, I don't, you know, so, so I didn't invent anything, but, uh, but, I, but, but that, that's an advantage because they, cause then I can, I, I can be balanced between, uh, you know, I can present both methods A and B, and I can say, uh, I can present w why, why B has certain advantages or disadvantages from the standpoint of A and, and so on. And, and um, okay, so that was my original motivation for starting to, work, uh, to write a book. Uh, well then, uh, as time went on, uh, I'm writing this book and, I, I, and, I, and I'm seeing, uh, you know, lots of interesting ideas that the, the authors were unaware that if you plugged in this method into this, that they could get some more results. So naturally, I started discovering things myself, and then, uh, and then, I, so then I couldn't be unbiased anymore, and so I, I so, so, so I, I couldn't write a decent book anymore. Uh, but I still kept trying. I would like to ask you, um, what big challenges in computer science or IT? you see where we should be working on, so where you would wish that there would be um, progress or yeah. which, which are promising? Computer science and biology are, uh, to, to me, uh, are, are where the, it's an explosion of, all, of, 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 of important uh, challenges all, all the time. What are your personal criteria for what makes a programming language beautiful? Depends on the, uh, on the programmer and, uh, and, and the application. <laughs> so to me, the, the, the best programming language is the one that matches uh, the intuition of the programmer that, so, so that uh, uh, you, you can put your thoughts down uh, without having to translate into something that's not natural for you. Uh, but different programmers are, have, have quite different mentalities. So, I mean, some people love a functional style programming language, for example, or, or, or more, more declarative. Others want it to be imperative. I, mean, so I can use Haskell um, and, and Lisp, but, uh, but, but I, I feel a little bit, little bit like a dog standing on hind feet uh, uh, when I'm doing that. Uh, when I use, uh, when I use uh, C, it feels right. I, and I, but that's not, you know, I can't say other people are wrong. I'll do that. But when I use C++, uh, I, I, I can't stand it. I, 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 <laughs> I was asked uh, it, in the 60s uh, to, to write a paper about design of programming languages. And I started it, and I, I, and I, 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 and I uh, decided uh, that the best way to, uh, uh, to, to uh, say what was a good language was to, was to have an example of a bad language. Uh, but I didn't want to hurt any of my, the feelings of any of my friends, 
So I invented my own bad language. I call it, I call it BL1, bad language one. And, uh, in fact, it, it was B, it was, um, you know, it was, B, it was it BL backslash one. So. <laughs> okay. so so, so, so um, uh, you know, so, so I, I, I defined it, and my, of course, also my definition was bad. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, uh, and then I, and, it, and then I, uh, uh, this was a language for string manipulation. Uh, another th thing about a language, of course, you have an application area that you, you know, what are you trying to do? So I, I also defined another language that was supposed to be a good one called stroll, string-oriented language, okay? So I had that language one in stroll, and, I, and, and then I was going to write up other things about uh, programming language design. But, uh, but I never finished the paper in the 60s, and I, and, uh, I, I guess I was worried that so somebody would implement this language. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so I, I, I'm working on a, uh, uh, on a mathematical problem that has to do with continued con fraction expansions. And um, uh, so, so part of it, I'm, I'm, I'm using, I, 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 I'm being a mathematician and I'm using theories, the theorems that I learned in number theory uh, that, that are resistance theorems instead of algorithm. Uh, but then I get stuck. And, and, and I take it as far as I can. But then I start saying, oh, but now if I write a program for this, uh, then, I, then I have some invariant that's coming along, and then, I then, then there's some relation between these numbers that I wouldn't have discovered if I'm with my mathematician thinking. So, 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 so then I, you know, so, so then my programming uh, 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 and, and my computer science uh, training comes along, and, and I get the problem a little further. Then I get stuck. And so then I go back in, in mathematic mode, and, uh, and, and, and took a little further, and, and, and in this particular paper, I, it, uh, it went through three or four iterations where each one I could sort of feel that I was, that, that I was uh, changing, per, changing personality somehow. Are there any uh, structures in mathematics or computer science that surprised uh, you being equivalent to, an, to another mathematical, mathematical structure, computer uh, structure in computer science, like a uh, game of life being Turing complete or uh, like a finite automate is equivalent, equivalent to a regular language? The more different ways you have of looking at things, the, the, uh, uh, the, the more useful the concept is. As you know, uh, not all people could fit into this lecture room, and so this lecture is live broadcast to another room, yeah. and the people there sent a question. Okay. It's a bit of a meta question. Meta question, is, okay. If you were a student here in Vienna, what would be your question to Donald Kruse? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, let's say what, um, uh, what, what, what's my, my best advice to a student uh, in, in, in Vienna, you know, and, and, uh, and I would say uh, uh, follow your own uh, instincts and, and don't just do something because other people expect you uh, to like something or because something is fashionable or, 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 or trendy. Um, uh, if you think something is, is is important, even though it's not trendy at the time, uh, I, I I would say go for it.